Cascade Hoops Talk, Billy D. Hey, we're here at uh, Grace College. I have Coach Steve Draven right here. He's the head men's basketball coach at uh, Bethel University, the Pilots. They're going to take on Bushnell in just a little bit. Uh, coach, uh, thank you for giving us time just before the game starts here. Absolutely, Billy D. Uh, great tournament, great environment. Really uh, thankful to Grace for putting it on, hosting it this year, and then we'll go to uh, Oregon Tech next year. And, uh, just awesome type of classic where we can have the Crossroads League go against Cascade League. Two great conferences. It's been fun for me as a historian of the game, Yeah, kind of going back and researching the history of the four programs. You know, in uh, March 17, 1998, yeah. Bethel beat Oregon Tech uh, by two points in that uh, national championship game. So a lot of fun. Uh, we're excited to be in it. Uh, grateful to be a part of it and uh, looking forward to the games. So this is, uh, talk about the experience for your team, for the young men. Because it's not, they're not only good games, these are a high profile tournament, a lot of buzz around the tournament, and then next year they get to go out to Oregon. Talk about what it means for the young men. Oh, there's no doubt our guys are excited about it. I've, I've tried each day to try to give them something about this classic, this tournament, uh, the, the two teams that we're going to play, a little bit of the history of Bethel, just to give them some um, some understanding. We, we've got four, or I'm sorry, six new players, two freshmen and four transfers who were new to the Crossroads League even, yeah. um, you know, in the Cascade Conference. So um, trying to educate them a little bit just to, so they understand the importance of it. I thought the banquet last night was awesome. Um, just having you know, Coach Ward talk about it. You, uh, you of course, uh, Coach K, you know, Coach Kessler uh, from Grace, kind of giving some history of NAI and, and the conferences. And, uh, so it's neat for our players. It's going to be a great, you know, it's kind of like a tournament feel. Um, going against two uh, really good teams from the Cascade that you, you know you could play in the Sweet 16 Elite Eight Final Four type atmosphere. So I think our guys are charged up. They're ready. Um, excited to see them compete. So so far this season. Uh, Done pretty well. You're shooting the ball really well. Uh, talk about how you feel coming into this tournament. What what things first? How do you feel about the team, and then what things do you need to do this weekend to come out well? You know, it's still very early for our team. We're still uh, trying to get better. We, we've talked a lot about consistency. Uh, you know, we shot the ball well, as you mentioned. You know, we're averaging over 20 assists a game, which is awesome. Um, you, know, you love when your team sharing the ball. Um, however, there's still some things that we need to get better at. You know, defensively, just um, you know, consistent on jumping to the ball, being in proper health side, getting the proper rotations, uh, things of that nature. We've got to continue to get better at. Uh, but it, you know, you know th this is a great environment to, to work on those things. Uh, Bushnell and Oregon Tech are going to challenge us. Um, so I'm excited to see our guys compete, and we're going to get better, win or lose, uh, in these games this weekend. So this is a big commitment for your program coming up here in the next year going out to Oregon. Big commitment, both time and money. What are you hoping to get out of this for your program and for Bethel University? You know, first and foremost, just the experience of playing with two really good teams, uh, very well coached, disciplined teams, uh, to play in a, you know, a tournament type of atmosphere, uh, like I mentioned. Um, you know, an opportunity, I think, basketball. For me, I've been blessed as a player, now a coach, um, that has taken me a lot of different places. I've never been to Oregon. Yeah. I think I, I haven't asked all our team, but I bet the majority of our team has never been to Oregon. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be neat to um, you know get to another side of the country, uh, another area. It's obviously beautiful out there, as you know. Um, and uh, it, it's going to be great for our guys just to experience that. Um, I think you know Oregon Tech and Bush now has learned a lot about Indiana basketball, the Crossroads League. It's going to be awesome for us to go out there kind of learn about Oregon, you know, there are two schools even more um, in the Cascade Conference. So, you know, the, the overall experience of it all. So, Coach, you're about ready to kick it off here. We're going to let you go, but thank you very much, and good luck tonight, good luck this weekend. Thank you so much, Billy D. And one quick cl clarification on the, uh, the free throw, me being the fourth best free throw shooter oh, yeah. in my family. Yeah. Well, so, before you go, you got to tell us what, I'm obviously telling the story wrong. Yeah. I'm so, telling the story just wrong. So uh, 2003, my junior year in college, um, I'm playing at Belmont University in Nashville. I come home on Christmas break, and my two younger sisters, my sister Kristen was playing at UMBC, Maryland, yeah. Baltimore County. My youngest sister was playing high school basketball for my dad. And we go to the gym, we're shooting around, and it was the year I led the country in NCAA Division One in free throw percentage. 95.1 was 78 for 82. So we do a free throw contest at the end of our, kind of our uh, shooting session, and my dad makes 10. 
My sister Kristen makes 10, my sister Amy makes 10. I make nine. So I was the best free throw shooter in the country that year in UCLA Division One, but fourth best in my family, so. And who pointed that out to you? Oh, my dad, <laughs> yeah. My dad reminds me of that often, so. They've got the bragging rights, but I've since beat him several times, so I might have it back, so. Well, thank, thank you very much, Steve. Good luck this week. Appreciate it, Billy, and thank you for all you've done for NAI basketball and for this cross-road cascade basket. Thank you. Thank you very much.